Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Patricia Boylan. My husband John Phelps and I, both retired military, have been members of St. Charles Borromeo Parish for almost 10 years now. I was raised Catholic, but like many children in the 50s and 60s, my, my faith was mostly external. I knew enough information to get good grades on religion tests, but I didn't really know God, I didn't know Jesus, and I wasn't sure I liked the Virgin Mary. Consequently, in college, in my mid-twenties, I ran into trouble. My participation in the church diminished. My lifestyle became worldly and sinful, and there were several times when I actually just left the Catholic Church completely. God saved me by sending a disaster into my life, a figurative two-by-four up by the side of my head. It was agony at the time, but I, I knew it was good for me, and I was even somewhat grateful. At the same time, God put me in touch with a group of Catholics who were running a Life in the Spirit seminar, basically a charismatic prayer group on Friday nights on a military installation, if you can imagine that. These were really joyful people. They were just excited about God, full of love for Jesus and their neighbor, and I learned so much from them. They said the traditional prayers that I learned growing up, but they also added to that a, a more conversational talking to God style of prayer that I'd never seen or heard. And it was an eye opener for me. And they were just so full of love for me, for everyone around them, that uh, I decided back there in about 82 that I would never leave the Catholic Church again. Lots of things happened after that time. I, got married, had children, there were some military moves. I retired, the children grew up and left. My husband and I moved here to Omaha about 20 years ago, but through it all, I have always stayed Catholic and been glad to be in the church. Now, John and I have been in a, a number of parishes since then, and I have to say that St. Charles Borromeo is one of our favorites. There's so much here that we enjoy and that you can gain. There's opportunities for, for learning about your faith and about God from the all the different study groups going on to the Father's theology talks and sermons. There are, of course, great, great sacramental opportunities and chances to worship God in daily and Sunday Masses and confession often for uh, the forgiveness of sins. There's chances to do corporal works of mercy through groups like Charlie's Angels and Knights of Columbus and St. Vincent de Paul. And finally, there's just fun times with a really encouraging and friendly group of people, just ebullient with joy, in the fish fries and the parish festivals and other social occasions. And all that, we're very glad to be here and we're glad to be members of this parish. I would like to share one uh, observation I made or learned over this summer. Because I'm retired, I, I have time to do prayer and reading and daily works, or daily mass. But I read something in a book this summer and it struck me. Basically, it said that a, a minute or very small action repeated innumerable times can have a great effect. Now, this was in a geology book, not about religion, but it occurred to me that although they were talking about wind and water, you could say the same thing about a spiritual life. If you're younger than me, and you're probably much, much busier. If you can just squeeze out a small prayer now and then, a comment to God, a thank you, a question, complaint, whatever, and do it as often as you can in little bits of time you have. But if you keep this up, God will work the same miracles on you that he does on the scenery when he uses tiny bits of sand and little drops of water to sculpt something beautiful. And by doing those little things, he will draw you closer to him and make you beautiful inside. Thank you very much.